This lesson deals with supplemental problem 3.1. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problems starting on page 1. Given the circuit, could you find node voltage 1, node voltage 2, and the current I sub x using what's called the node voltage method? In our class notes we discussed the node voltage method as having five steps. Steps 1 and 2 are to assign the ground node, which has already been done, and to assign the node voltages. Step three is to apply Kirchhoff's current law. In order to do that, I need to assign current to each element. On this four ohm resistor, I'm gonna call this current I4, and the current in this two ohm resistor, I2. Pick it in any direction you want. I'm just gonna solve for it once we pick it. Do Kirchhoff's current law at node one. Current that enters equals the current it leaves. Five amps is entering, six amps is entering, so that's 11. What's leaving is I4 and I sub x. But I4 is the voltage across the four ohm resistor, which is going to be this node voltage minus this node voltage, in other words, V1 minus zero, or just V1, divided by four. The current in this four ohm resistor, called it I sub x, is going to be this node voltage, which is V1, minus this node voltage, V2, divided by four. That's this term right here. I have 11 is equal to V1 over four plus V1 over four. That's a half of V1. And then I've got V2 over four with a minus sign. And that's a minus a quarter of V2. Let's do the same thing on node two. The current that enters is three amps, the current that enters is I sub x, and then the current that leaves is I2 and 6 amps. We said that I sub x was V1 minus V2 over 4, and then the current I2 is going to be this node voltage minus this node voltage divided by 2, which is V2 minus 0, or just V2, divided by 2. Bring the 6 on this side of the equation, I get a minus 3, and then I've got V1 over 4, I'll put that on the other side of the equation, so it'd be a minus a quarter V1, and then bring this on the other side as a plus V2 over 4, and that's going to be 1 over 4, and then 2 over 4, so 3 over 4 are 3 quarters of V2. I have two equations and two unknowns. Step 4 is to solve for the node voltages, that in matrix form. So we have that 11 is equal to a half V1 minus a quarter V2, and then we have minus 3 is equal to minus a quarter V1 plus 3 quarters times V2. Let's now solve for V1 and V2 using Kramer's rule. To solve for V1, we'll take a ratio of two determinants, take our equations that we had in the previous pages would be our conductance matrix. And then for the numerator, we'll take the same matrix, but because we're solving for the variable associated with column one, we'll take the left-hand side of the equation and put it in column one. So this times this is 8.25, and then minus the product of these two, which is going to give me another minus sign, and that's equal to 0 0.75. So this times this, and then minus this times this is the determinant. The difference of these two is 7.5. And for the denominator, this times this is 0.375 and then minus the product of these two, which is going to also be negative, but it's 0.0625. That gives me 0.3125. The ratio is 24. To solve for V2, we'll take the same denominator, but we'll put the left-hand side of the equation in the column associated with V2, which is the second column, and do again the determinant. So this times this is a minus 1.5, and then minus the product of these two, which would be a positive 2.75. Our denominator determinant is still the same, so it's 0.3125, and this difference is 1.25, and we get 4 volts. Lastly, step five is to complete the problem. And we said that I sub x was equal to V1 minus V2 over four. And once you know the node voltages, you can solve for any voltage or any current in your circuit. 24 minus four over four is equal to five amps. And this is supplemental problem 3.1.